are doing a double feature today. Back at it again, the summer camp champ. It's your boy Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th from 1980 and 2009. First, let's talk about 1980. A killer is on the loose at Camp Crystal Lake and final girl Alice discovers the secret killer's identity. Pros. This is the OG, and sure, there were other movies that came out before profiting off of holidays and crazy slashers and that sort of stuff, but this has solidified itself in horror royalty, not only because of the kills, but because of the twist ending. Kevin Bacon and Betsy Palmer. This movie helped launch Kevin Bacon's career. It wasn't the first thing that he was in, but it definitely did help. Plus, he has a really cool death scene, and Betsy Palmer is just as fabulous uh, as Mrs. Voorhees, crazy and unhinged. Cons. At this point, it really is showing its age. Uh, prosthetics don't match the skin tone, the stunt doubles are clearly doubling uh, instead of having the actors do stunts, which is fine, but like you can tell there's stunt doubles in some scenes. It, it is not meant for 4K and probably not even 1080p. Overall, it's a solid start of the whole Friday the 13th franchise with some welcome surprises here and there. There's good gore and a story that obviously, obviously just keeps going and going and going and has spawned many, many, many different horror movies. And now the 2009 version, which is essentially a remake of part two, if it's like going on a different timeline. Sam Winchester's sister is kidnapped, last seen around Crystal Lake. So he and a group of vacationing college kids come into contact with the menacing Jason Voorhees. Pros. Y'all know this is one of my favorite openings of all time. I saw this in theaters and let me tell you, the whole audience thought that the movie was done in the first 10 minutes, basically because we got a whole movie in that first 10 minutes. So bravo to them. The action and the kills are mwah, chef's kiss superb in this movie. We get a sleeping bag kill. We get a stab through the head kill. We, we got it all and it looks really, really cool. Cons. I feel like the whole lost sister that looks like Jason's mom thing is kind of like whatever. I like how it strays away from the, like at this point it's kind of tired. The teens come to the woods to party trope, but it's, it's also kind of like, mm, okay, I guess. This 2009 version is a really awesome remake that makes Jason scarier, especially for newer generations. And all I can say is stupendous. So there we have it, two Jasons and a Betsy Palmer just hulking out on some semi-innocent teens. Uh, will people ever learn to stay away from Camp Crystal Lake? I hope not. 